My friends, what's up? My name is Daniel and welcome to Upstreet Online where we're celebrating Jesus's birthday all month long and having a ton of Christmas fun while we're at it. You wanna join us? You've got to. If you're in Georgia anytime this month, come and see us at one of our churches. You'll love it. And you're also gonna love what Caleb is up to this week on that show with that guy. Let's check it out. Welcome back to that show! Y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you. Not that I'd ever lie to you. I am tired. Oh my lanta, y'all. I've been trying to shop for Christmas and it's just so much work. So I thought I'd take a break. Um, hang out with you guys for a little bit and eat because I like I haven't eaten in a while so now You're probably thinking uh, Caleb what, 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 what Why are you eating this you you need protein you gotta you gotta refuel no I need none of that what I need is to change into something a little more comfortable Oh yes, <laughs> we're doing a Buddy the Elf breakfast. Cause you know, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Santa! Oh my God! Yeah! Yeah! It's me, buddy! I love smiling. Smiling's my favorite. <laughs> so if you can recall from the film, uh, Buddy the Elf tries to stick to the four main food groups: candy, candy canes, candy corns syrup. Don't worry, we're getting our syrup and candy food groups here. A little bit of mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. You know, you know. Um, let's just get into it, yeah? First thing we gotta hit is the syrup. Syrup? Syrup? I don't, I don't know. I don't know which way you say it, but... M and M's. Um... Mom spaghetti. Wow. wow. Wow, humans, the only thing with opposable thumbs. Well, that's a lie, but not that I'd ever lie to you. Okay, here we go. Do a little bit of ta chocolate. The ta chocolate. Uh? Do a little bit of chocolate. Just a little bit. Guys, I just, I need something to keep me going so that I can keep shopping for Christmas. Pop tarts, of course. Uh, we'll top it off with a little more syrup. Syrup. <laughs> Christmas? What? A, what a fantastic time of year to just question all of your life choices. That show, family. Uh, this is the Buddy of the Elf breakfast. That's actually kind of good. So honestly, the spaghetti, if it wasn't so slimy, you know, this would be a 10 out of 10 meal. This would be a 10 out of 10. Baby, it's cold outside. Say what's in this? Baby, it's cold outside. I really know how. Well, that show family, thanks for tuning in. Guys, we're like a week and a half away from Christmas. I hope you guys join us next week as we do something a little less crazy, <laughs> but still fun. As always, stay saucy, love on somebody this weekend, um, only if your hands are clean. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys on the next video. So this whole month of December, we're talking about the birth of the most important person that ever lived. Christmas is all about one person, Jesus. Christmas is like his birthday party. That is one awesome birthday celebration. It's Jesus' birthday, but you get the presents. <laughs> kind of sweet, right? But when you think about it, if Jesus, the most important person ever, is about to be born, you'd better have planned a rockin' birthday party. I mean. Let's think about this. God, who is Jesus' father, 
He knew how much the world needed Jesus. He knew Jesus was going to change the world. Jesus was going to rescue and save the world, the whole world, forever and ever. That's why he's the most important person that was ever born. Imagine who must have been on that first B-Day party guest list. Like, if it's me planning that party, I'd make it so stacked with celebrities and famous people and the world's best everything. <laughs> In fact, let's build our own guest list right here. If Jesus was being born this month, like right now, let's decide who would be so important that they'd have to be at Jesus' birthday. LeBron James or Tom Brady? Which one are you picking? <laughs> I mean, they're both goats at their own sports. Are they good enough to be there? Yeah, I, I think so. Done. They're invited. Oh, Taylor Swift or BTS? Who are you going to choose? Both would be awesome. Music at the party would definitely be fire. So let's put them both on the list. Ooh, okay, so this is a good start, but let's move over to YouTubers. YouTube was totally not around when Jesus was born, but it is huge now. So let's, let's see who we got for some YouTube guests. Is it gonna be the dude from Dude Perfect or Kayla Morgan from that show? Uh, see, this is a tough decision. Uh, both of these guests would be super fun and you know that they would bring a good time. Which one is coming to the party that you're throwing for Jesus? Um, I know someone's gonna invite both of them, so let's just go ahead and put them both on the list. All right, so let's get some kings and queens, some royalty in this party. Jesus is so important, he's gonna be friends with some high profile leaders. So are you gonna go with the Queen of England or Prince William? I mean, he will be king one day. <laughs> okay, so honestly, they're both so important that let's go ahead and make sure they both get an invite. <laughs> All right, so last one, let's do something a little bit different. Who are you picking? SpongeBob or Patrick? <laughs> yeah, see, I threw you a curveball here. Uh, so who, who's it gonna be? I can't pick because uh, I think they're both great. So they're both just gonna have to come to my party. <laughs> All right, so we got a really good guest list here. They're famous, popular, talented, important, the best of the best. All the people that you might expect to be at the birth of God's son, Jesus. We might think telling these people about Jesus first before anyone else is the right thing to do. You're bringing the savior of the world to the earth? Man, that is important. Big, incredible news. So important, big, incredible people need to be at his party. But that's how we might do it. That's how we think. And God tends to do things a little bit differently than us. Well, actually a lot differently than us. When Jesus was born, there was no one famous there. No one who was royalty or a world leader. No major celebrities of the day were there. Jesus came into the world with no party, no guest list, no big celebration. At least, not like a celebration we might think of. That same night that Jesus was born, God did want people to know who had just arrived because this was big news and God was celebrating, but not with a party. He planned something a little different. A little ways from where Jesus was born, there were some people out that night. They weren't famous or rich, they were shepherds doing their job at night, keeping the sheep safe from any danger. Shepherds weren't popular people because they usually smelled like dirt and sheep and sheep poop. <laughs> people looked down on shepherds, but while they may not have been popular, they were important. They were important to God, and that's the best kind of important to be. Everyone is important to God, and God knew these shepherds needed to know that his son, Jesus, was born for them. So he sent an angel who lit up the sky in the most incredible way. But just like if your sky suddenly blew up with light one night, these shepherds were scared. They had never seen anything like this. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. And then the entire sky filled with an army of angels, these beings of light that sang to God and celebrated that Jesus was here. And then 
just as quickly as they came, the angels left and the shepherds ran to see Jesus because they had been waiting their whole lives for the savior God was sending. And now the shepherds on that night were the most important people because they got to see Jesus before anyone else and tell everyone they knew about him. God chose to make this huge announcement to the shepherds because he wanted the shepherds to know that Jesus came for everyone. Jesus, he didn't just come for kings and for rulers. He didn't just come for the rich and the powerful. God told the shepherds first because he wanted all of us to know that Jesus came for everyone. And everyone is, well, all of us, everyone. Jesus came for the kids in your neighborhood and on your ball team. He came for the kids in your ballet and art classes. He came for your family and the, all the people watching today. Jesus came for the kids you might not like. And Jesus even came for the people who don't believe in God yet. Jesus came for everyone. And that's the best thing to celebrate at Christmas time. So let's thank God for sending Jesus to us. Let's pray. God, as we celebrate Christmas, help us remember that Jesus was sent for everyone. And if there's anyone in our lives who may not know Jesus yet, help us have the courage to let them know that God loves them and that God sent Jesus for everyone. Thank you so much for Jesus. We love you, God. Amen. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, 10 through 11.
Hey, if you're looking for even more Upstreet fun, check out Upstreet on YouTube. See you later.